I think, I think uh, you know, for NBA coaches, you know, your general manager is extremely important in you know, the relationship that you have with him. And, and, and everything starts with, with ownership as well. You know, I mean, uh, the teams that win in the NBA usually have great owners, you know, and, and, and it trickle down. You know, the ownership's great, the general manager's phenomenal, and, and that trickles down to the coach and the players. And, and uh, you know, I mean, that's what I, you know, when I talk about being in the right situation, I think that, that becomes really important for, you know, for a coaching staff to, to be with the right fit. Now, now that you're a few years removed, when you reflect on your coaching stint with Golden State in Sacramento, what, what do you think you did well when you're looking back, you know, just considering the fact that Golden State was two years in Sacramento? Yeah. You know, what things do you think you could have done better? You know, the, the, uh, the Golden State situation, you know, I, I still live, you know, in the off season in the Bay Area, and, and uh, I, I walk around proud of what we did. You know, we had two great years. Uh, most improved team in the NBA one year. The next year we uh, were decimated with injuries, <laughs> At, you know, with uh, with some, with some players that had left from free agency and and uh, and still had a really successful year that second year. And then there was just a, a management change. And and uh, when Chris Mullen came in as a general manager, you, you know, it's, he's going to want his own guy. And and uh, and so uh, you know, we felt like the two years was successful. Uh, you know, Sacramento, not so successful. You know, I, I look back at that situation and, and wish we could have done things a little bit different, wish we would have had more time. Uh, but, but another learning exp experience because Rick Adelman is a really, really good coach. And I learned that when you replace a guy, you know, who's a really excellent coach, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bigger shoe to fill, so to speak. In, in Golden State, they had had a lot of different coaches. Uh, you know, running in and out of there, and so it was change of culture, change, change of identity, all those things. It, it was a little bit easier uh, than than the, than the Sacramento situation. So when you say a few things you would have liked to do differently, anything in particular come to mind? No, I mean I think that uh, you know time is one thing, you know, and uh, you know it's teams kind of you know they they. They evolve a certain way, and, and uh, you know, after I left Sacramento, you know, Reggie Theus came in. I think Reggie does a great job, and it was kind of a little bit of a struggle for him. And and uh, and I think now, you know, that things are starting to change now. You know, some time you get a few more draft picks, you add some youth to your team, and and uh, you know, I think Sacramento's got a bright future now. And it's a little bit different than 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 it was three or four years ago. Not to you know reflect on something that happened so while ago, but you know, just your situation at the beginning of that season, you know, yep. just in terms of your DUI, did, did you feel in retrospect that it kind of started things off in the wrong place? Yeah, there's no question. You know, I mean, that would be, uh, you know, that was, uh, you know, a mistake on my part and, uh, you know, something that uh, definitely didn't help me. And, uh, you know, it's kind of hangs with you for a while, you know, and, and uh, you know, so it's, it was it was an effect, no question about it, and, and uh, you know, having said that, you know, you, you know, it happened, and you and you just got to move on and, and try to make the best of, of a situation.